I'm trying to hold it wide open. You do have to breathe the throttle a little bit getting down in the corner to get it sideways. Oh, we might have gone a little bit too sideways. <laughs> oh, look at that. We missed the tires. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Revhead. Yes folks, we are back in Revhead. I first want to thank you guys for all the support on this series. Seems like you guys are really enjoying this style of game. And I also have a little bit of good news. I have recently tried out the Xbox One remote and I realized that it actually somewhat works. I mean the car still handles like a boat, but it's a lot better. So we will probably try out some races here very soon. Now the only thing that has changed, I have gotten rid of the Crash Magura from the last episode. We bought it right at the end. I parted it out and I sold a couple other things that weren't necessary. So we have 28,000 to play around with. Let's go into the paper and see what's available and oh boy, look at this. Okay, there's been a recent update. I don't know if it's changed anything, but the, uh, the paper, this is looking promising. There's not a lot of repeats. Hmm, there's a high mileage Magura down here. Uh, some of you guys were saying that you do want to see me go in and try to work on a Magura. The only time I've ever worked on them, they've always been wrecked ones. We've just parted them out. So that's an option down there. You got a high mileage one. Uh, we are playing with about 28,000 right now. There's a couple drag cars in here. That Magura drag car looks sweet. I'm um, liking that. Uh, we've got a wrecked. That's a big wheel car there. I wonder if we can strip that. That might be worth getting. Uh, I've got a Jingu. I believe I'm saying that right. That looks like an older style truck. That's fairly cheap too. We got some options here. Really do. Uh, we're gonna start off. Let's go ahead and buy this wrecked car here. And I'd like to get this high mileage Magura, but my parking lot's full. Okay, we need to clear something out. And I think I know what that clearing out's gonna be. Oh, look at that. That's got really big wheels. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've got two muscle cars setting here. I'm debating on this one down here what we're gonna do with it. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Wayla real quick. Okay, we're going to try to strip this Wayla real quick before we go back to the newspaper. I'd like to get a hold of that high mileage uh, Magura. So we're going to fix the motor, remove it. I'm going to strip the parts. Now, I did ask you guys kind of how you wanted to see me strip these cars. And some of you guys said that you do want to see something like a time lapse. But I'm still not 100% sold on that because it's still going to be downtime from the video. But uh, for the time being, we're going to kind of still skim through these uh, strippings. So I'm going to strip the rest of this and we'll see what parts we have. And we'll see how much money we can make off of this one. All right, folks, say goodbye to the Wayla. It's worth 470 That's uh, it's chump change right now. We're actually doing pretty good money-wise. Uh, let's see. We've got a bunch of parts. Now, we should have a motor from that Wayla. Uh, where is it? Kind of wish these were actually, no, these are in order. <laughs> My bad. Uh, well, it might not actually be under motor here. It's this SL4, and that's worth about 2000 I actually hope that was... thought that would be worth a little bit more. Let's go and sell that. Uh, we've got a bunch of generic parts here. Like, we have parts for everything. I kind of feel a bit like a hoarder right now, because I'm keeping a lot. And I know I could be making a whole lot more money, but I always feel like, oh, what if we need this part later down the line? So... I think for the most part, I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Uh, we can get rid of a couple parts here. I've got some worn out parts that are not going to be any good to us. But for the time being, I think this is going to be good. Let's go ahead and fix and sell that. We've got a bunch of generic parts down here. We have a ton of fuse boxes. Wow. Yeah, we have been stripping a lot of cars here. So let's go back to the paper. Did it change on us? No, okay. The high mileage Magura is still down here. So if we were ever to actually repair one of these Maguras, I would say we would do something like this. So let's go ahead and get this high mileage one here. I actually kind of like the paint job on this one. So let's go in. Let's pull it into the garage here. And this might be the vehicle we attempt to race. I do also want to look into this muscle car over here that's got the big tires on it. Because that has got to be some sort of off-road suspension on it. And I think that might be something we'd fix up. I know it's wrecked. But the possibilities are there. So let's go ahead and look inside the Magura real quick. And... Yeah, I'm kind of digging that paint job. It's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and take a peek at the inside real quick and see what may or may not be missing from it. Ah, it looks to be intact. Okay, I'm digging that. I like when cars are like this. So it's crashed. What's wrong? Engine-wise, carburetor's pretty bad on it. Let's go ahead and fix the motor. Uh, let's see, it needs a new carburetor. I would say other parts, not so bad. We can fix a lot of this. The carburetor, I don't think... 
Yeah, I don't think we can fix that. Uh, let's see. New, new, good. Some of these are slightly used. Yeah, we can fix most of this and it'll be in good shape or new shape. I don't really consider fixing something back into new shape. I don't know where the game gets that from, but uh, yeah, other than that, that looks all pretty good. Water pump's good on it now. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna tear through this a little bit. I do need to go find a carburetor and it's very likely that I might have one. I don't know, I've been selling a lot of my, uh, when I sell the motors, it should sell everything in it. So I might not have a carburetor here. Uh, especially not for Maguro. No, we're gonna have to pick one up. Let's go to the paper real quick and we'll see if we can find one here. There's a used V8 carburetor up here and oh, there's a strong racing V8 motor here. Can we look at this? It's the XGTV8. Uh, what is this? I'm kind of curious. We might do an engine conversion. What do we have in here? What is this motor? Oh, nope, that's the ignition. Uh, what is this motor? This motor is just your typical Magura. Is there actual model number on it? Let's remove it real quick because we might just might install a new one here. So let's go find that motor real quick. It is Where are you at motor? No, you're around here somewhere. There it is. It's the XGTV8. Okay, so that's is that the same one? That we were seeing in the paper. Okay, I believe it is actually so that motor's probably, we don't want to actually invest in here. Yeah, they've got several. Yeah, it's still the same motor. I don't know if it's different because it says racing on it. Uh, if you guys know, comment below, but I don't want to waste the money on that yet. So we're just going to pick up that carburetor real quick and install that motor back in and try to get this thing running. Okay, so the internals of the Magura are in decent shape. I do want to replace the dash here. We have a racing dash that we can use. That's got all new meters in it, so we're gonna go ahead and throw that in the Magura. Let's drop it off the lift and let's do some body work here. You know, this car wasn't in that bad of shape. Uh, it has cost me quite a bit of money, which is a bit concerning, but I know we can always make our money back. And all oh, this must be a little part of the update. Look, we've got new oils here. So you got a race one, a sport one. Okay, do you really want to change to... Oh, I want the race one. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. Let's get all the performance. So we've got new race oil. So that's a new update part. Uh, they released one. I was like, well, what did it do? Yeah, they didn't actually say anything. So we've got that. Uh, let's go ahead and put, fill it up with water. Let's wash it real quick. Body work, only 104. Not bad. Let's go ahead and charge the battery up here. Okay, so that's good. Now, paint job. I really don't want to change much on this. I actually like the way this looks. It would be better if some of the body panel pieces would be in a little bit better shape. I'm seeing what appears to be a little bit of rust on it. Uh, of course, we could change all that. But uh, paint job wise, I'm kind of digging this. Maybe a little darker blue. Uh, let's swap over. Oh, that's purple. Uh, hmm. You know, I'm kind of liking that. Let's uh, make that a little bit brighter yellow there. Maybe something like uh, something like that. I have to say, this looks pretty sweet. Okay, so this one's good to go. We're gonna probably take this one out for a test drive. The last thing we need to do is the timing. All right, she appears to be squeaking a little bit. The timing is there. So that could be a combination of, let's go and put her back on the lift real quick. I missed something somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it was last time. Let's check the belts. Let's fix those. Eh, there it goes. Okay, squeaking is done. You know, I need to do that on my muscle car. I think my muscle car still partially squeaks. I just need to know that that's a part I can select. Like, sometimes I completely miss that. So, let's drop her back. Fire back up. Listen for a squeak. Oh, oh come on. Fire up. Ah, uh, she's purring like a kitten. All right, let's go take this out for a test drive. All right, she's fired up. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring first and then we're gonna try to go find maybe a race here. Uh, get the street race. I haven't really driven around much on the track itself, uh, but it's gonna take me a little bit just to get used to this. I know the Xbox One remote works. It still has some sway in it, but I tell you what, it is 10 times better than using that keyboard. That keyboard was virtually impossible, so now, I'm kind of like, at first I was a little hesitant to really be like, hey, you guys need to go check out this game, but I, I strongly suggest if you do have a remote, 
Uh, this is definitely pretty drivable. And question is, am I on the wrong side of the road? We're in Australia. Uh, somebody said something like I was driving on the wrong side of the road. I actually think we need to be on the, uh, the left lanes here. There's a gas station over here to the left. Oh, 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 oh. Can we get gas? Is that a thing? Can we just pull in and actually, like, like get some gas over here? Or is that... Oh, you can! Petrol. Just fill her up. Give us a full tank. Alright, it's full. Yeah, this is actually really neat that we get to go actually play and discover some of the things that are in the world instead of just playing mechanic the whole time. Even though the mechanic aspect of the game is absolutely entertaining to me. I think it's fantastic. Apparently we're driving up the mountains. I didn't know... You know, I'm not gonna say anything because I know nothing about Australia. But I always picture Australia being relatively flat. But I, I guess it does make sense that there is some sort of mountains up here. Now the question is, where does this take us and how far does this take us away from the shop? I'm kind of curious because, uh... Yeah, we've been driving around for a little bit and I've never actually explored this map much, so... Kinda interested to see. I feel like we're actually looping back around into town, but I could be completely wrong about that. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh, 100 kil... I think this kilometers an hour, so this is a... Pretty hefty speed, uh, speed that you can carry on this road here. Let's see. What's that to the left? That looks like another facility. Looks like it's still closed off. There's another gas station. If you want, really want to race, head there. But I think a lot of this is actually locked right now. Because there's these little detour signs on it. But it's kind of uh, neat getting familiar as to where everything is. Alright, so we're back into town. We're going to head to the backyard. We're going to do a little bit of... Uh, I think there's some races back here. This is a little oval track. Uh, that in the first episode they talked about the uh, the little track your uncle was making so Let's go ahead and pull into here. How do we do this? Oh, okay, so it looks like we have one mode right now. It's time trial. So we're gonna select that Good day mate. You want to bet? I reckon I can beat the fastest time. Well, what is that? I reckon I can beat the silver. I'll go for the bronze. No, thanks. I just take a couple of laps. You know what? I feel like we have a Fairly decent car. Let's go for bronze just to see. It's $500, not bad. So let's go ahead and bet that. And okay. Uh, here we go. First gear. My first gear is a little lazy, I have to say. But once it gets going, gets wound up, it's not bad. Now, question is, am I going to need my first gear here? This is a pretty tight little oval. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is working good. This car actually slides a lot. This feels like a... Almost like a dirt track racing game. I know we are on a, literally on a dirt track, but uh, a lot of the sprint car games, stuff like that, this car is constantly sideways. You're in this nice little drift. This is cool. I actually like this a lot. Okay. Well, we just spanked the time there. I think that we actually might have gotten gold. Uh, probably could have wagered a little bit more money. So let's go ahead, see if we can beat that lap. I'm trying to hold it wide open. You do have to breathe the throttle a little bit getting down in the corner. To get it sideways. Oh, we might have gone a little bit too sideways. <laughs> oh, look at that. We missed the tires. <laughs> All right, that's good. Uh, let's grab first gear real quick. That's going to be a terrible lap. Oh, boy. Okay, so... Actually, no, we were in bronze. Looks like silver's 25 seconds. This lap's not going to be much better because we broke our momentum there, so... It's not good. I'm trying to hold it wide open. We'll try this corner again. We're going to swing. We're going to arc in there a little bit wide. Okay, let's try not to go too sideways. There we go. Oh, 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 don't slip it off the track. Don't, nope, 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 that's a wall. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm really glad we only voted, or we only bet betted on a bronze there, and yet we just dented the back of our car. Well, we did a little bit of damage to the car, but that's probably not too bad for our first time doing the time trial, so let's go ahead and finish her here. Hey, you know what? Bronze, we'll take it. We won a thousand. We probably did more damage than a thousand. We'll have to go check the body though. So let's head back to the garage real quick. Okay, we are back at the garage. What is our damage? $27. Okay, uh, I think the damage was really in the back. So we'll repair that. Not a bad car, I must say. I don't know if she's a keeper, but I have, I kind of like it. So let's go back out and look at our parking lot again. Okay, let's pull this muscle car into the garage. This is the... One with the huge tires on it, so... Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Hmm. You know, I wonder what size these tires are. I might have some of these. This could be a real bad sink as far as money. 
Depending on what they're missing here. Okay, they're missing a lot. Uh, tail light, something in the instrument panel. Looks like the radiator's gone. Uh, oh, there's a lot of stuff gone. The roll bars are gone. Hmm. What's the motor in here is really the question. What do we got? This is a 591 horsepower motor. It's missing stuff in there. Uh, it's expensive to fix. Let's go ahead and fix it. We're gonna rip the motor out and see what it's worth. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. I kind of don't want to mess with this one too much. Uh, let me check the suspension here. What's it listed as? Uh, let's go ahead and fix that. It's a Narnu uh, suspension, so... But this is a different car. I didn't know you can actually put suspensions from other cars. And I guess that's where you get the off-road. You know what? We're going to strip this car. The more I think about it, the more it's going to be worth it to strip it. Because if we can stick a suspension like this, which is not, it does not belong on this car. It's a different brand. That means we can basically make anything an off-road car. So let me strip this real quick and we'll gather the parts and see what we can do with it. All right, that's all stripped. Let's go ahead and sell this one off. 970. All right, let's go back out in our lot. Now we have this muscle car here to the left. And I'm debating on it. Uh, this was the one that I said, hey, maybe we can do a drag muscle car, but that might be our normal muscle car. It could be the Magura. Let's drag this one back into the shop real quick, and let's see just how stripped it is. Uh, I forgot what I all took out of here. You know, there's still quite a bit in here. There's probably quite a bit that needs to be repaired and replaced. And I'm debating on how worth it is it. Let's look at our paper real quick. Is there anything else that's appeared? That would be a little bit more to where we can work with it. Doesn't really appear to be. It appears like we have probably our best option for the time being. So, question. Let's go ahead and remove this suspension real quick. And the bars. So, suspension's gone. Sway bar's gone. Actually, that's a piece we didn't fix. Uh, let's see. Let's remove the half shaft. What kind of differential is back here? Okay, it actually looks like it's in decent shape. Uh, that half shaft that I removed might be need to be replaced with a new one. Okay, so I'm selling some of my uh, duplicate parts, some stuff that I don't think I'm going to use. I've got some really pretty good parts in here, but I, I feel like there's some of the stuff, like I have like 20 horns right now, and I don't think I need that many. we get rid of those. I've got two front hubs. We're going to get rid of one of those. Actually, it's missing a rim anyways. Uh, yeah, we've gotten rid of quite a bit here. We're up to 20,000 to play around with. I've got a set of new off-road tires here. I've got like a lot of things that we might be able to use, but I'm debating on what we're going to do with this car here. If we're going to just sell it, or if we're actually going to work on it. Okay, so I've got a lot of parts stripped off of this muscle car. I kind of want to convert it to an off-roader. But I'm not really sure what's going to actually go on here. So I'm assuming assuming we can put a front suspension, like a Narnu one, and that's a, that's a bit of a lifted suspension. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw a new one of those on there and install that. So now we have a lifted muscle car. Alright, so after staring at this thing for a bit, this is our muscle car that we've been debating about what we we're going to do with it. And I went ahead, I tested out the Narnu suspension. It does fit. So I think we're actually going to use it. Now there's going to be a lot of parts that are going to need to be uh, gathered here. I don't know if we're going to be able to get around to actually fixing everything. Do we have a small instrument? Yep, there's a water gauge right there. It's a bad one. Uh, question is, can we fix that real quick? There we go. That's the fuel gauge. The temperature gauge. Uh, we're going to need to find a new one of those. Let's see what we can put on it right now and then... We'll see how prepared we are to uh, go in here and actually uh, fix this thing completely because I don't think we're going to get around to it uh, all the way here. So let's go ahead and put the Narnu rear sway bar on. That's on there. These are looking good. It looks like we're missing a half shaft. Uh, we have one right here, so let's install that. I'm kind of curious if we have the tires for this thing. I've been collecting quite a few, and I want to say we do. Uh, we'll have to see though. What else are we missing up here? We're missing a clutch. Do we have a clutch? So we need to pick up a clutch for a Narnu. Uh, what's the transmission type? Actually, no, not for a Narnu. It's for the muscle car. I gotta keep that in mind because that's what we're actually working on here. Do we have a clutch 
somewheres for this thing. All right, so it appears that there is not a clutch available yet, so we'll have to wait on that part. Uh, let's see what else we can put on here. It looks like we need, do we have brakes? So we do have brakes on there right now. We'll need some sort of rim. Uh, there's something missing right here. What is this? Oh, crud. Let's see, control arm, a rim, of course. And let's see, the arms are bad. Let's go and repair those a bit. There we go. Those are fixed, so we need rims. <laughs> there's a lot we need on this car. Uh, let's see. So, there's gonna be a couple parts that I'm going to need to get. Uh, we've got some rims. We'll be replacing quite a bit on this car. I uh, just wanted to get it started this episode. Let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of parts that are need to be found. So, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up real quick. And, let's see, is the body repaired? Let's repair that. And, let's go ahead and... Nah, we're not gonna worry about the battery or oil change yet. Uh, we could paint it. That might be a waste of money, but I want to go ahead and make it look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and paint that, and let's go ahead and stick this back out in the garage, or out in the uh, parking lot. Obviously, it's looking a little bit better, but it's still going to be a work in progress. Uh, but I feel like we did quite a bit here this episode. We did a time trial, got to test out this new Magura, which I'm pretty proud of. I want to hear what you guys think, uh, what we should do with it. And do you guys think it's a good idea to do the muscle car off-roader? I'd like to hear that too, because I'm still debating on that one. But anyways, folks, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of RevHead. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will be coming out with more of this just a little bit later in the week. So, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time in RevHead. Thank you.